What's going on, Aries placements? Welcome back. If you're new, I go by Empress Gem. I drop the jewels. This is you guys, Enigma Marie for the month of May 2021. If you have not caught one of the other signs, this is a message about your intuition, that inkling that you have within. I'm going to pull it out to the surface, okay? So if you've been feeling something in the back of your head subconsciously that you're trying to push to the side, you're probably here to see if how you're feeling is true or not, okay? So, general message, guys. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. Any event, continue to show your girl that love and support. Equal energy exchange. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit up the website. Book a reader and all that other sweet jazz. Messages I got for you guys, okay? Aries, you need to stick with it. Whatever you're doing, keep going. When I mean the energy that I feel around y'all, y'all got so much hate. So much, look, y'all got the fucking tower. Oh, geez. And interference, okay? You have so much hate around you, so much animosity around you, okay? This is Mars energy. So, yes, this is, this is Aries. This is you. And this is Scorpio. I also pick up other fire elements here, Leo and Sag. But what I mean, there are people who want to see you fucking fail. When, and of course, usually in all signs, you know, there's always a hater or somebody always praying on your downfall. But no, Aries. Aries placements. When I mean y'all and y'all the last one in, that I'm doing for the enigmas, okay? Y'all the last ones to get recorded. I already did 11 other signs. And I mean, y'all probably had, you know, some sort of... But what I mean, what I feel for y'all is like, people want y'all to be so bothered, they don't understand Aries as Mars energy, <laughs> war, <laughs> they really want, like, somebody want the smoke, <laughs> somebody want the smoke, y'all got folks who want that smoke, they want all that smoke, because they don't feel like y'all gonna bring the smoke, I feel like y'all been trying to keep shit cool, I'm looking at this umbrella, Y'all got Cancerian energy here with you and your loved ones are safe, okay? I feel like y'all been trying to keep it cool, you know, not trying to let things bubble up, you know, even flow. But people truly are fucking with you. So the rest of your messages, just keep swimming, okay? That was the next one, just keep swimming. That's what I'm saying, y'all trying to stay cool, like the other side of the pillow. But y'all got people who really is trying to mess y'all up. People who are saying things, people who are doing things out of spite, people who are just like popping up in your energy, I'm hearing projection, astral projection, okay? People who are, like, tapping into your energy, into your space. People who are trying to make you fail. When I mean the praying on you is, look, the last message was no weapon formed against you shall prosper, okay? Y'all got folks out here who was practicing some dark shit on y'all, okay? Who really wants to see y'all fail. This umbrella, this is about you being protected, Okay, you're protected. Uh, look at that underneath divination seven. Okay, by the gods, <laughs> you will be victorious. Whatever somebody's trying to do, it doesn't matter. Okay, you are protected. That is a force field. Okay, your angels, your guides, God is with you. <laughs> if God is with us, who's like who can be against us, baby? Nobody, no body. Okay, so that change is coming. Okay, if you've been feeling. You know, like, there's just, like, some negative dark shit around you. Don't worry. That shit about to go. It's about to go. Because somebody trying to bring a tower moment in your life, I feel like that tower is about to back, backfire on them. Or they're going to come and bring, I'm here and bring the noise to you. And your ass, your megaphone is louder than theirs. They didn't realize that your megaphone is louder than their megaphone. Okay? And understand, if you've been feeling like somebody's doing something to you or saying something about you, if you feel like, honestly, there's black magic at play, whatever the hell you're feeling about whatever the hell's negative going on in your situation, you can't understand. You can't really put your finger completely on it, but you have a slight inkling. You not bugging. That was loud and clear. You're not bugging, okay? What you see, what you feel, what you know, the visions, the downloads, what you're getting, that intuitive inkling, that gut feeling, you ain't bugging. You're right. And understand, at the end of the day, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It's not. Period. Poo. Okay? You and your loved ones are safe. You got the umbrella and that. You're protected. You will be victorious. You will be victorious. So it really doesn't matter. 
Divine time is at play with that Sagittarius temperance energy here. You can have a water sign moving in towards you who wants to reconnect. Okay. Some of you guys could be a little confused about that situation here because I don't know if this person already has somebody else and you walked away from them. Okay. I just seen a total of 10 of cups twice. All right. I feel like this person feels like they missed the opportunity. They want to come back around. Could be a Virgo, could be a Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, or a Leo. Okay. Yeah, you're single. Somebody wants to come in. Definitely could be a Virgo wanting to come in. Aries energy. Or somebody that you ghosted. They want to come back around. They want another chance. They see you single. They want to try to reinvest in this again and see where you guys can go. Okay. Again, because you're independent and you're doing your thing. I feel like it's going to take a lot for this person to come towards you. I also see here where somebody literally was investing on changing your fate. Fail. Major fail. Oh, major fail. Okay. They failed. They wanted, yeah. Could have been a fire sign. Leo. Y'all got some credits. That's what I heard. Three cards here, Spirit. Here's that tower rolling back out. First, first card out. Okay, Aries. Like I said, somebody is trying to throw a bone in your shit to change your fortune. Somebody does not like seeing you on an up and up. And they don't even understand and get that you're putting this effort in solely on yourself. It's not like you're... You're wishing on anybody else or you're you're using anybody to get where you're going. Like you are doing this all on your accord, all on Aries time and dime, like Aries energy. Like you're not manipulating anyone. You're not wanting what somebody else have. You're focused on your own and you're trying to just have your own. And somebody, people around you, energy, this is energy. Okay. They don't want to see you have. All right. Mm, mm, I don't like that. They don't. Could be a Libra energy. Okay. Or a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could even be a Taurus. But yeah, this person, they're out to battle you. They want to. <laughs> they're out to battle you. They want your success. Somebody wants your success. How? I just face off. Adjustment here. Libra energy, like I said. Don't worry, shit is about to balance out. Definitely could be. Things will balance out for you, but you could have a Leo in your vicinity here. It could be another Aries like yourself or a Sag, but this also could just be a female who is like overly confident. I'm feeling a overly confident. All these cards are typically or should be upright. I don't if they come out reverse, I read them reverse. But the energy that I'm getting from this person is this is like somebody who just feels entitled. I feel a very entitled energy here, like somebody who feels like they're supposed to have what you have. Or who feels like you shouldn't have what it is that you have. Yeah, very manipulative type energy. Virgo Gemini energy there, okay? Could be a Virgo Leo Cusper. I feel like you don't even, you're not even trying to deal with this drama. Like, you don't even want this shit in your life. Like, you're not, you're focused on you. And somebody is very insistent on seeing you try to balance all this shit. Somebody really wants you in a woe is me energy, like making you feel like you're missing opportunities or making you miss out on things. Somebody doesn't want you to have love. Somebody doesn't want you to have a clear peace of mind. Somebody doesn't want you to be able to take action and do what it is that you want for yourself. Somebody always wants you walking on eggshells and feeling like you're not good enough or some shit like that. Ew. King of Cups energy here. Um, very fixed energy. Scorpio, I'm feeling heavy. Okay. It could be a cancer or a Pisces as well, but I do feel this energy. It could be a father figure, somebody, or it could be a mother, somebody that you have kids with here, somebody who is not very emotional, but I'm also feeling for some of you guys, you do not need to keep getting emotionally attached or involved with people. I feel like you need to separate yourself right now from just about any and everything around you. That is, if you feel like, no, nope, that's a no, or ah, that feels, um, like hot stove, don't touch. Like, I feel like it's a matter of you just needing to back away. You're not bugging. At the end of the day, you ain't bugging. I feel like y'all intuition is on fleek right now. Some of you guys also could be receiving communication coming in from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, in regards to a situation or a matter. Again, you need to take it like a grain of salt and move the hell on. All right? Don't, don't even, don't, don't even entertain it. You need to move on. You have better things to do. You need to continue to balance out your life here okay mm -hmm. 
there's a lot of chatter. I just I just hear like a lot of gossip. Like people just gossiping like crazy. Or just like how how are you doing it? It's like people wanting to know how you do it. You don't gotta tell them shit. Leave these people in the clouds. Let them wonder. Allow them to keep wondering what's going on with you. We got this Scorpio, this scorpion falling out in reverse, which is like Scorpio energy to me, death energy. But again, that's a six. Somebody doesn't want you balanced. Somebody doesn't want to see you balanced, okay? Um, I feel this This card speaks of growth and changes here, okay? Um, it speaks about, you know, a threat that may not, that's undetected or whatever. Um, it also speaks about, you know, how, how you're growing, you know, spiritually, personally, you know, emotionally, just your growth. Period. You know, rebalancing yourself, getting yourself together. Okay. Death energy and rebirth. It came out in reverse. I feel like somebody does not want to see you grow. They don't. Like, they don't want to see you grow. Somebody wants you to be in a state of mind or like in a state where you can't defend yourself. Okay. Somebody doesn't want you to be able to stand up for yourself. Somebody doesn't want you to believe in yourself. Like somebody is trying to kill your mindset. Somebody wants your power. Somebody is trying to take your power away. Could be a Scorpio. Definitely could be. But this, like, like I said, this energy just they don't they don't wish well for you. Okay. They don't wish well for you. I'm not gonna say that part. the obelisk it's a 12 breaking down to a three again we got another three showing up Thir three 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 ascendant masters but this is the power source somebody wants your power they don't want to see you grow they want to stop you that's why they're trying to throw tower moments at you they're trying to pray they're praying on your downfall they're not even trying they're doing this religiously i'm feeling the energy of somebody who is doing this religiously like every freaking moon phase like on a new moon when they should be wishing in new shit for themselves they their intentions is to hope that the new fucking negative whatever they want for you works this time <laughs> like i'm hoping in this new cycle that my spells to hurt aries work you know and the full moon is you know really casting that dark shit i don't know why i just seen graveyard so look that's what the part that I said I wasn't about to say. Mm -mm, it's not. It, mm, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, Aries. Okay. One card here on this adjustment. Thank you. Yeah, you already know. I feel like this is karmic law. This five, this is like the hierophant for me. Wisdom, the tooth, hierophant, God. Okay. In the building. Karmic laws. The karmic cycle, the karmic will, karmic justice. Okay, whatever somebody's trying to do to you is going back to them. I just heard times five, okay? I'm usually like a times three, <laughs> but this is like a times five? No, <laughs> this person should have really knew better. Um, they should have really, really, really knew better. Yeah, because here's that 42, breaking down to a six. They were trying to make you unbalanced here, okay? But things are balancing out when it comes to your vision and what it is that is for you and what, what you're supposed to have for yourself here, okay? Um... The veil is being lifted, okay? They were trying to sacrifice you, but I feel like it, it, all they did was... Somebody got to pay the piper. Somebody got to pay the piper. Look, it, that is deep. It's, it's, like I said, it's over for somebody. It's over for somebody. Somebody got to pay the piper. Somebody is doing too much bad wishing on y'all right now. Like, and they think they're getting away with it, but they can't see why... It's like they don't understand why it's not attacking you because, A, you cannot do this to God's child who is working out of pure intentions. And, B, that shit is just building up. And eventually somebody got to pay. And I'm hearing it's time to pay the piper. It's time to pay the piper. Okay? Ear element here. So, what's a water that's cusping ear? Gemini, Cancer cusp here. We have... Uh, Libra Scorpio here, okay, and Aquarius Pisces here, all right, as a cusper. But again, four of cups, I see four raindrops here, four of cups, 
speaking up about things that are no longer are serving you. Again, emotionally detaching yourself from folks that you know is trying to fuck with you, who keep running you in a constant cycle. I feel like some of you guys got some fake ass friends around you. Yeah, 37, that's breaking down to a 10. It's an ending. Somebody trying to cause war upon you in your life and what it is that you're doing. Somebody who, like I said, they're preying on your downfall. They keep they keep manifesting and casting out spells and things when you keep trying to drop all these missiles, trying to make these tower moments happen. But it's like, nah, dog. Like, I feel like you you are receiving the downloads here. You're understanding what it is that you need to remove yourself away from. And that's what you're doing. You need to continue to do that as you're moving forward here. Okay. Let's get one on the Scorpion in reverse. First message out. If you just give me three cards, spirit, that'd be dope. But... <laughs> Believe in the impossible, yeah, blue moon, which is a full moon. These people were believing that they could fuck you over and fuck you up, okay? Your commitment is being tested, okay? They wanted you to falter on what it is that you're doing for your own self in your life. They wanted you to get off your path. They wanted you to make it make you feel like you're doing everything wrong or like you're not good enough, okay? They wanted you to believe that you weren't good enough, okay? Which is impossible because you are. Your commitment was being tested. These people were testing and trying to see how much, like, until Aries break, what Aries don't have, or can we get... Expect a powerful change. Karmic, karmic justice is happening here. The answers you need are coming because nothing will come out of the situation. These people keep, like I said, they keep repetitively doing the same sort of spell work or the same sort of work or keep using the same lies, the same sort of tactics, okay? The same energies against you and it's not working and they're not understanding that nothing is going to come out of the situation for them. They need to avoid this course ASAP because karmic justice is about to serve it's a new powerful change happening it says new moon eclipse let me tell y'all something we got a full moon eclipse coming up at the end of the month here okay north node step out of your comfort zone yeah it's time for you to just keep it moving keep doing what you're doing stick with it keep swimming okay um if you're if you've been feeling uncomfortable about a situation get out of that shit okay or if you comfort okay getting out your comfort zone you still dealing with the same old people not wanting to believe, but you got that inkling. You ain't bugging. That person who fake laughed about your success or said, oh, bitch, you got fat. <laughs> I'm, pl I'm playing. They weren't playing. Okay. You got to be very, very mindful with them folks and that energy that you keep around you. Okay. People who act like they cheering for you and applauding and they're not. Okay. People who applaud, but still frowning. That's not real applause. They're not happy for you, okay? You need to be mindful of them, okay? And remove yourself from them people. Not get yourself caught up. It's time for you to set those boundaries and just cut your ties here. Yeah, because a new start is definitely coming for you. Or a new start is also taking place right now. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon, that's your energy right there, okay? Aries Cancer. <sighs> Aries Cancer. Capricorn. Who I'm missing, y'all? Libra. There we go. Thank you. Justice. Again, justice is coming. Justice is being served. All right? Hmm. Y'all just got like hating ass energy. Y'all not bugging. The bottom line is y'all not bugging. Yeah, it's time to end these verdicts. Two tens. Ten ten. That's a motherfucking end. Okay? Son of water. Somebody, whoever gonna come in, like I said, these people gonna keep coming in with like apologies or trying to say things. You know, and I feel like it's pulling at your heartstrings. Do not get yourself emotionally caught up with these folks. Don't allow what somebody says, you know, to play on your heart and play on your mind. Okay? Release that shit. Okay? With this ten of wands here, this oppression, this burdens, let this shit go. Let these folks go. Some of y'all going to have to really move along. Y'all really going to have to operate by yourself. I'm even hearing for some of y'all as parents, okay, as siblings. It's people you've been friends with for over 10 years, okay? Like, you need to let these people go because they're messing with your fate and fortune. They're trying to block you, and you need to let them go so that they don't mess with your fortune. The will is turning in your favor. Karma is here. That the universe is trying to serve it, okay? Final enigma message here. Final message. You know, when the cards be cutting up like that, too. Somebody upset. Mm, don't do that. Really? Final message here for our Aries placements. Yeah, it's just like somebody just really want to see you fail. Like, no matter what you do. 
They want to see you fail no matter what you do. It's the power. So look, I can't, they don't even want the cards to come back together. Look, I already got the messages out. Messages out. The high family. This is family, friends, okay? But it's also protection from your ancestors as well, which they need to understand. With the high, I pick up heavy Oshun energy, heavy motherly energy. And if it ain't one thing they need to know is bees bite, motherfucker, okay? So here we come on our throne, sitting high. Follow that parade, yup. It's time to come back one. Become back one within yourself, okay? Because people are really trying to pull you out of element. Don't allow them to do that here, okay? Definitely family and friends here, but also understanding and knowing that you are very much so protected when it comes to your energy and the things that you're doing, all right? Your structures, your organizations, your home life, all of that is, is safe, like you're protected there. But you need to become back, come back into one with yourself. It's time, you need to... Because some they're trying to pull you out of element. Don't allow people to pull you out of element. That 19 right there, that's a 10 again. That's a 10 again. Okay? And I feel like, like I said, it could be family members or people or friends or people you might have family with. Or like something in your home life, you know, or possibly even work. But again, ground yourself back out. Become back one. Because people literally, they want to take you out of element. That's what they want to do. They want to see your fate and your fortune change. They don't want to see you fortunate. Bring love into the situation, new moon and Aquarius, okay? Because nothing is yet set in stone with that mutable energy. That's your Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, okay? Gemini season is getting ready to come up. So in that duality, I also see Gemini energy in that. And look at that, the universe underneath, which is a 10. The ending, okay? Gemini season, something has definitely come to an end. You're definitely done with this. Gemini season is in about a week, guys. So, yeah. The shit's coming. The new start is coming, okay? Or it's probably even here with that new moon energy. And they don't want to see you shine, baby. They don't, so. Unfortunate for them. Anyways, Aries, that's been y'all reading. Need to book a personal all information listed below. You know I'm here for it. Till the next time we speak. Peace out.